Welcome back to Wastelands 3. We're doing the quest Thicker Than Water and it involves traveling to the Get Family Homestead and free the family. So we picked up Randy's quest back in the bazaar and now we came out to this location through the open world. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at our characters, what levels they are, level 9, level 9, excuse me, and this guy's level 9. So even though Marshall has more charisma. He's not leveling that much faster. So charisma is nice, but um, It only helps him and he's only slightly ahead of everybody. It's not like he's got two or three levels ahead of everybody. So the charisma is nice, but uh, In this situation, it's not that important today. We're gonna go ahead and use smoke uh, In this situation, although it isn't totally necessary that we just got four of these guys, which isn't bad at all but if you're interested in how to use smoke, make sure you watch the video, how to use smoke and why it's so good. And that'll be, um, you can find that there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple things. We can initiate this with a grenade. And I think that is a good idea to do. He has got a, one of these has a grenade. There you go, she has got the grenade. Let's go ahead and initiate a grenade throw right here this is an explosive barrel so we'll wait till they get right around here so we can maximize the effect of the blast uh, looks like two go ahead up oh, timings a little off and that begins combat so now that we have this uh, combat set up let's go ahead and throw down a smoke grenade to cover this area put it about right about here I would say because you want your guys to be just in the edge of the smoke um, so you can hit stuff outside so it's about there and we'll move Honeyo into the smoke zone and since she fired we want to get her into this smoke zone so she's going to be safe here uh, put her because they'll fire at her let me see kitty cats there uh, put her there that'll be in the smoke zone so let's see here. These guys, you see the symbol here, that means they're covered in smoke. Let's go ahead and put it yeah, right there. Okay, so she's in the smoke zone, you can see here. Now the next thing we wanna do is this guy here, he can, he can shoot, uh, these guys are out of range. So let's go ahead and set him up to evade, to ambush, I mean. And her, we'll set her up to ambush. The rest of these guys, like this one here, will set him up to ambush. So we're going to try to ambush them when we get to there. Quanster, Dr. Nachos. Twinbee is here. There's nothing she can really do this deep in here unless we move her to the edge of the smoke. So let's go ahead and keep her in reserve. And you go defensive. And this guy here, let's set him up to ambush. And her, I don't think she can hit anybody. Let's set her for an ambush shot. Uh, here we go. They've oh, they're able to hit the concealed. Yep, and he was able to hit him, and he missed. See this miss? This poison stuff is no fun to get on you. They did hit us a little bit, but you can see what's happening here. Now, now that we have this together, she is still in the smoke screen. Or he is still in the smoke screen let's go ahead and just have some fun you don't have to do this but if you can throw out a machine gun here this always helps too it'll mow this guy down here meanwhile we can move over let's see what do we have here and if you see right here these guys are kind of smart they move right into the smoke area so that they can't really be hit but at least we're protected too Let's try to get something here. What do we have there? The one guy, if we can take this guy out. 44%, look at how low the hit percentage is here. But one thing you have to realize is that in this here, you can also use the air of effect thundering strike. Oh. 
Hitting myself. Oh shoot, that's a little bug there. Hitting myself. Sheesh. So you gotta watch out for that. Things can happen. You can actually hit yourself. You can be sadomasochist and knock yourself on the head. Okay, 64% hit here. Uh, you can also use this precision attack here. Let's just go ahead and do this. And we're gonna miss. Got a few hits on. And while you're at it, actually, you can, let's see here, let's get him like that. Let's move in. One of these guys, our big heavy hitter, see if we can get him in there. What we want to do is we want to get this stun off, and it'll affect all three of them here. So let's move him there. This is how you get them all bunched up. Make sure you're targeting him and not your face. And that's nice. So we hit him. And they all have these low hit percentages like this, 51%. And let's get this guy in the corner. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Three APs left. And, of course, use your defensive. See if we can hit this here. 31%, 32% out of range. Okay, we just got to try for this here. Four. Got him. Okay, that's good. He's dead. And this guy here is running out of ammo. Let's see, what about this here? He needs to do a reload on that. We'll reload him and stay like this. This character is next. We're going to try to close in. Make sure you get the view just right. With a 55% hit chance, this is still okay. We'll eventually hit them. Come on, got him. And with four APs left, let's get him in there. Take a couple swings at him. Of course, he's our mechanic. He's our worst melee. And let's see if she can get a shot on him. Where is this guy here? Out of range. Nothing she can do at all. There we go. Look at this. That's more like it. Go ahead and play with this here. <laughs> Kitty cat. All right. What did he do? Was that... Okay, let's get Dr. Nachos out here. Uh, we want to get this guy here. See if Lucia can hit him. He's still in the smoke screen. Out of range. And good. Frozen. Get Lucia up there to get some shots on him. That's nice. And get big muscle out here. Let's get some hits on him. Four AP will go there. Lucky crit, that was nice. Nice, and down for the count. Okay, it's time to finish this guy off here. You gotta be kidding me. Shh, you can't hit a darn thing, can't the side of a barn door. She's got poison, so we have to go ahead and heal her. Okay, let's see, we need to get this one here. Yeah. 
Jeez. Finally, got it. Finally, finally, finally. Okay. So with nachos here, let's go ahead and use some of this food. Figure out who is getting hurt next. You can go ahead and use a little food. I hear somebody grimacing in pain out there. I don't know who it is. It's Honeyo. She has a healing kit. 51 seconds left. That noise. Go pick up the trash loot. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Okay. Now it's time to go over here. We'll catch you later, lady. <laughs> the groaning. Oh. Sounds horrible. Okay, so that's all there is there. How many more seconds of this? You have two seconds left. Poison does sound bad. Let's see if we have any more food for her to chew on. This will help increase the health points. So as a brawler, you're going to have to do this. Whoops, there's something there. You're going to have to use uh, things like the smoke screen as you level up. Um, okay, this is nice. This is very, very nice for weapons mod. Let's see if we can mod one of these weapons here. This requires weapons mod 5. It would be really nice to add this on. So let's go to Lucia. Let's see if she's got weapons mod 5. We can add that in here. Let's go ahead and do that. While we're here, let's get these guys' as weapons modded up. Can never say no to four damage. Look at what this thing hits for now. He's got the same thing. And he, look at this weapon after he's done. It's going to now hit for 46.65, which is the same as her. So they're going to hit very, very nice. And let's see what the hit percentage is. Base chance to hit 93. They're both going to hit really, really nice. Okay, so we're going to need this. Okay, trap detected. Very nice. What do we need? This uh, explosives 5. Who's our explosives? Oh, one of these. So now we have to find out who has the explosives. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be this one, so the explosives five. Once again, if you don't want to spend the money, the points on explosives, which as you can see is pretty nice because if we can we have a lot of points if we can get up to here and use the book she gets to this skill point so what we can also you will get a little ex experience for doing it can also shoot at it like this there you go and that works a lot better so if you're not sure what you want to do with the points, go ahead and save them. There's another goat, mountain goat you can use. You can charm him. I mean, you can uh, pick him up as a pet. And uh, he's like the two-headed guy we have, another good pet. But if you're not into using them, then don't even bother. 
So now we're up to another spot here. This is a choke point here. And you have to be careful over here because you have one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys. And this will be tough. I, I really recommend using explosives on this. You can fight them out if you want. But remember, they can still shoot you. So one way to do it is to stay back and get them in here. If you're fighting them in here, you're only going to be able to engage three at a time and they're still going to be shooting you. So what I suggest is to get back here and stay back. Fight them when they're here. You can gang up everybody around them. So we have a door here, pick lock seven. And this is where it leads to where we got to save these people. So you can save them or you can go ahead and kill these guys here. There's another door here. Let's go ahead and go in here. This is actually a storage area. Annoying goat sound. Let's pick up our ammunition. Pick lock seven, more med kits. And ooh, look at this, Spitfire. If you have, uh, this is very, very handy for this because as you can see here, it does fire damage, which is really nice. And it's uh, very good against mutants, humans, and animals. So if you have uh, the big guns up high enough, you can definitely use it. But we don't yet. And we do need energy cells. Lots of them. Need to get an assault rifle. Let's see what do we have here. And there we go, somebody got decapitated. We wonder how did they get so decapitated out here? Okay, so we want to get these guys to come to us and fight down here. And we can engage and we can set up our smoke screen here. Get everybody into position. And like this. This is pretty close. Let's go ahead and get him to, he can fire the ferret rocket launcher, or we can go ahead and initiate with an explosive. Okay, and combat has started. Okay, now we have combat started as you see right here. These guys, he can only move two spaces. So let's go ahead and move him out of the way. Let's see what does he have here? He can also pop the shrink grenade, but we'll show you that later. So let's go to here. Next thing we want to do is we want to throw out a turret all the way out here. Let's throw it out about, I'd say about here is good. There goes a turret. Let's get into position so that we can be all close together. Got twin B here. And we want to get in position so we can jump out and attack them if necessary. She can throw a grenade, but we will wait on that. And this guy here, we'll move him into position. Let's 
And for her, we'll get her up there. She should be one of them with the smoke grenade. And that's right. Let's move Lucia up here. And let's get this smoke grenade down here. This should cover everybody right about there, I'd say. Let's put it about here, there. Gotcha, we're all covered. Okay, and let's let the action begin. still hit you no matter what yes you have to have antidote okay so from here this guy has a weapon that is a fuser and what this thing does is you can use it to um, I'll show you here the fuser. It will go ahead um, repair targets at a distance. So this is pretty nice. And since this took some hits, we'll go ahead and repair this. And it's just a small amount as you can see, but at least it's a little bit of something. Now for him, he's got already his thing. So let's go ahead and switch to her. Let's use a grenade to make this easy. We'll throw it about right there. And there we go, hit them with the explosives. And they have this effect on them. We can actually, if these guys get out of the way, we can get in there and actually fight them. 79%, look at how they're out here in the open and we can hit them. Nice. He's out of range. He's got to move into range. Wrong character. He's six. We're going to get one shot off with this. Wow, I can hit him for a 76 over here. And we miss. And for him, we can't get anywhere in there to take any shots on him. So we're just going to wait till the cat gets chewed up. She can't hit anything either. So we'll just once again uh, get some health, pick, health back up. Or just wait. Okay. Look at that machine gun turret. It's so good. <laughs> and they all attack the machine gun turret. Whoops, and he's firing at us too. cat <laughs> we got to get the cat out of the way okay so we still have the smoke up here so let's go ahead and uh, need to clear some of these guys out let's get this guy here What's the hit percentage? He's 
excuse me, sometimes it doesn't let you know. 79%, uh, 78. Got him, and he's down. Who's the next weakling? It's this guy. Two of them down. There we go. Now we got this bonus here. And this is critical chance is plus 10%. Only problem is we can't get in close enough to hit these guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Drop another one on them. And nobody can get him. We need to cat the die. And that's a bad thing about pets is sometimes they get in the way and um, you want to get in there and if we could get in there we could really kill these guys. But the problem is is the pet is in the way is making things rough for us. See look at that we can't get anywhere near there. Nothing we can do we gotta we wanted this to be a a melee but instead it turned out to be a range fight because of the choke point here and nothing we can do to break this up we can let this thing play itself out But all we can do is just keep hitting them with the uh, explosives. Let's at least kill one of these guys off. And once again, he can't get in there to do anything at all. And just wait till the cat dies. <laughs> Please die, little cat. Please die. Let's just shoot these guys. One guy. There we go. No more cat to worry about. These other guys are getting in the way. Now we can get some muscle up there to really hit these guys here. This guy is about there. Now what do we have here? Got him. That makes a big difference. With three APs, he can't do a whole lot, so we can go ahead and 
We don't even need to use that. Let's go ahead and get uh, muscles up there and to wipe these guys out. Actually, it wasn't the greatest idea. But he does hit like a truck. Got him. And he's got three more APs. Or I thought he did. Let's get the next one to get up there. And she's our next heavy hitter. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What? We're going to have to just wait it out. That's all we can do. Nothing she can do. So, like I said, that's the problem. Ooh, wow. That is why... Ooh, wow. That is why you use smoke screens. Because one or two shots, they effectively kill one player straight out. Let's get these guys healed up first. All right, let's finish this off. <laughs> and let's see what are the effects on her. She needs to get healed. Look at these guys. This poison is really, really big time deadly. And he has a nasty poison too. There we go. Healing darts are nice. So let's see what we got here. Cleared all of these Razorbacks. Okay, now we find somebody eating this. She turned into a cannibal. Uh, Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. Oh gosh. Dreams for my brother. Dreams for your brother. Rufus gave her dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Do you want some of these? No, oh, gross. They're my very last ones. The gummy say it's okay <laughs> chewing them. Disrespectful. And they taste. Oh well. It's okay. Oh gosh, you crazy. For Anita. And we have hard ass. That's nice. We don't have hard ass. No. Mommy said never trust a stri If you bring me some candies, then I will be your friend. There were some candies in the other house. But they're scary doggy. I know. You go get the candies, and I'll stay here. Okay, I think we have some candies. Ah, uh, let's see here. There we go. We got Snickers. Oops. Hey, it's you again. Oh gosh. Anyway, we got the candies, but uh Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't yeah. Touch I'm keeping them for Randy. No, you're alone. not. Leave me alone. There's a key. This is to get the other people out, but we got them out already.
Okay, let's go back to Randy and give him the bad news. We're sorry, Randy. Your sister's a cannibal. Hey, Dilly, hey, ho, Rangers. Thanks again for doing this. You have no idea how grateful I am. I mean, you have no idea. Yeah. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for the guest. Really? Anyway. Let me know as soon as you find my family, okay? Okay, we have bad news. No, 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 no. Rangers, don't. My heart can't damn well take it. Don't say it. We will. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. You, you make her sound like an animal. But she was. We completed the mission. We got some nice experience. Thank you. And he goes and works back at our base. So there it is, everybody. Let's take a look at the final stats. So we had leveled up Lucia here. She leveled up. Uh, who else is close to leveling up? And this, nope, we got a long way to go. Very close to leveling up. So we're getting up there, level 10. He's level 10 and level 10, level nine. So you can see they're all leveling about the same, which is good. And we did get a few things here. The this is what our money is, not bad at all. We do have these skill books, which we want to save these till the end. And the reason why is because let me show you something. If you're curious, if you get brawling, it costs four to go to this next level. Then it costs nine, so that means it's five difference here. And from nine, that takes six to go there. So I want to get brawling to here, and then I mean, excuse me, lock picking. Three, six, ten. So it takes four, five, and then it takes six. So ideally, you want to get to about here and then use the brawling book to get that last point, which is so expensive, rather than using it earlier. So that's what I want to do with brawling. And I'll do that later. But anyway, that's our group, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.